Hey Ithaca High School and welcome to Lake Street News. I'm your host, Evan James. And I'm your co-host, Will Shanton. Thanks for tuning in. On today's episode of Lake Street News, we have two IHS STEM clubs kicking off their seasons, a new summer program for pre-K students, and an all-state music conference featuring some of our very own students. Ithaca High School's very own Technology Student Association, TSA, is now in business for this year's competition season. TSA is a national organization where students compete in various STEM-related challenges, ranging from animatronics to computer programming. With their 17 members, they're on the road to being the best chapter in the state. The members are going to practice, train, and rehearse their events until they're as good at STEM as Nick Cage is at being in bad movies. We're looking forward to a great performance from them this year, and buy from their fundraisers. Another prominent STEM club at IHS is the Code Red Robotics team, who kicked off their season this year by adding 49 new members to their team. Already off to a productive start, Code Red has been volunteering and launching activities to connect with the community. In September, you may have seen the team driving the robot around Streets Alive. In October, the team helped the Friends of Stewart Park by showing up to pick up trash, trim down invasive plants, and keep, clean up the playground to help keep the park clean for all to enjoy. Also in October, the team brought new members to participate in an exhibition competition called Ruckus, where teams get to compete with last year's robots in game. Maria's son, a ninth grader, said that, quote, Ruckus was a really fun experience. Not only was it exciting to watch and be a part of, but a friend and I were even able to contribute to the Spirit Award for our team, end quote. Sounds like Ruckus was a success for the team. For more Code Red news, Continue to tune into Lake Street News. This summer, the ICSD's pre-K summer program took place at Fall Creek Elementary over six weeks. Students worked to develop confidence and the skills needed to move ahead in kindergarten. As part of the summer curriculum, teachers used a variety of texts to introduce students to diverse stories and start conversations about identity, inclusion, and activism. Deb Jordan, educator for inclusion for the early childhood program, praises the ongoing work with text, which was started by pre-K teacher Sarah Smith and colleagues. These educators are working to incorporate picture books that feature read-alouds and lessons that validate and affirm student identities with real-life experiences into the pre-K curriculum. The books also inspire a foundation for social justice understanding and even for activism into early childhood classrooms. The preschoolers practice activism by learning how to use their power when something is not right their power to make a difference, and their voice to build a community and share what they have learned. If you are a fan of the Macy's Day Parade every year, then you will love this story. Ithaca High School's very own Kaya Connors is a part of a regional dance troupe that performed in the nationally famous parade in New York City on Thanksgiving. One of our correspondents, Katie Pollock, had a chance to talk with Kaya about her experience. Okay, so the Macy's Day Team Day Parade was an experience. Did it have its moments? Yes. There were some times where it wasn't the greatest, like waking up at 3 a.m. just to get 30 seconds of TV time, but that's okay. But I did have a good time as a general statement with my friends for the entire day. Um, like I said, it did have its ups and downs just because people were, you know, not great. Cough, cough, Mariah Carey. Um, it may not have been entirely her problem or fault, but I'm choosing to blame it because I can. Um, yeah, aside from that, had a great time. Wow, that must have been a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'm sure it took a lot of hard work. Congratulations, Kaya, and the rest of the Armstrong School of Danes. This last month has been an exciting one for the music kids here at IHS, with students being selected and performing at both the statewide and national level. Last weekend, IHS students Jacob Merrill, Anya Packard, Laura Mead, Anna Cummings, Claire Russell, Emily Bellman, Juju Crane, Keith McGill, Ananya Prasad, and Sam Delisa represented our school at the Nismo Winter Conference Allstate, performing with the best musicians of their age in the state. Student Anya Packard, who performed in the mixed chorus, had to say, quote, it was good, it was fun. My voice is absolutely gone, but a worthwhile experience on a whole. Very grateful to have been there, end quote. Student Jacob Merrill, who played in the instrumental jazz ensemble, stated, quote, honestly, it was great. I learned a lot and had a great time. And that's not all. Back in November, IHS's very own Alice Burke and William Shanton performed in the NAFMI All-National Symphony Orchestra and Concert Band, earning their place among the best high school musicians in the entire U.S. A quote from William Shanton, quote, 
All National was an amazing experience, meeting people from all over the country sharing the same love for music that I have. I learned a lot and I'm very glad I was chosen to go." End quote. If you see any of these many students in the hallways, make sure to congratulate them on their hard work. All right, that's all for this show this week, Guy Jess. Be sure to tune in next week and have a good week. Yeah, good one. Yeah. And a month, and year, and decade in life. You know? Yeah, a lot of weeks. A lot of weeks. 525,000. That's a lot of episodes. Yeah. We got a lot of, we got a lot of work. There's yeah. a lot of news. A lot of suits to wear. A lot, a lot of, of different a lot outfits. A lot of sweaters got. Yeah. <laughs>